of all places. Today, Oregon State visits Washington State expecting and expected to win for the fifth time this year. A number six win on the year would be monstrous. They have a long drought of non-winning seasons there. Last year, four and two start. Now they collapse. They lost four of their last five. But in Corvallis, these days, folks don't want to dwell on the negative. Steve Cyphers on the Beavers' long quest to get out the schneid. To know how bad it's been, you must know how good it was. You must know of 1962 and Terry Baker, who ran and passed his way to the Heisman Trophy. Or of the Giant Killers. Coached by DeAndros in 1967, they upset unbeaten Purdue. They tied unbeaten UCLA. And against top-ranked USC, they shut out O.J. Simpson, beating the eventual national champions 3-0. Giant Killers have the greatest thrill I ever had. Those were the good old days, the long gone good old days. Not a single winning season since 1970. About the time Andros began hearing the perceptions of recruits that would haunt the program for 20 years. They said, Coach, I'd love to come here, but we got better facilities in high school than you have here. And you never saw him, you know, never on TV. I think I saw him once on TV before I came up here in the. Even the, the camera of the, the game just looked a little dingy. Just, it didn't look like a place, you know, I wanted to be. Following Andros, who quit in 75, five men came with winning dreams, but left with losing records. Joe Avizano, who's won Super Bowl rings as a Dallas assistant, was one of those men in the early 80s. It takes a lot out of you, and, and it wears you out. And it can make you think about changing direction. But I took a lot of pride in the fact that I was able to fight through that with the help of my friends. Avizano's not overstating it. Until Mike Riley left for the NFL after last season, no former Oregon State head coach through those winless years, except Avizano, remained in coaching when he left Corvallis. Odd then that in this coach's graveyard, Dennis Erickson, fired by the Seattle Seahawks, would come here to find new life. Having a great time. Uh, losing's still bad, winning's still great, so I don't think that ever changes. But Oregon State is changing, and maybe their greatest win since the glory days, the Beavers buried UCLA 55-7. to Last week was the greatest week I've ever spent in Corvallis, 55-7. to They've been on a lot of 55-7 to <laughs> scores, but it's always been at the other end, and uh, for us to, to have that kind of win here at home uh, was really unbelievable, and uh, everybody's excited. Excitement began when Riley coached the Beavers to five wins last year. It swelled when Erickson, winner of two national titles at Miami, was given the job. Season ticket sales jumped more than 50%. Donations tripled. And with the number two offense in the country, an end to the misery appears in sight. You realize how, how long Oregon State's been a, been a bad deal, you know? And so it, it, would be a, it would be a huge thing, I think, for the town and the state of Oregon for us to win uh, six games and go on. To me, that's still losing. Uh, just to finish six and five, you know, big deal. That's, that's, to me, that's, that's not winning. I want to go to a ball game and win it. That can happen, Erickson says, because times have changed. Scholarship limitations, a university commitment, and updated facilities make it possible for this group to someday be remembered as the team that ended 28 years of torture. It certainly would be a, a case of perseverance. There's been a lot of people that have put a lot of time, a lot of players that have spilled a lot of blood here, and a lot of coaches that have come here probably in impossible situations. And uh, hopefully we can uh, have some wins and that, that, that those guys can be proud of also. Hopefully they'll talk about how exciting we were to watch, you know, how hard we played, and damn, they actually turned it around. Nobody at Oregon State putting that winning season to the bank just yet. Heather Fields.